Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll show you how you can make this um, a random object moving to a specific location with uh, a set amount of speed. Um, you can make as many locations as you want and they can go randomly from one to another or they can go in, uh, in a specific order. And for example, I made this so, th so I can show you how the functionality might work. So you might have a platformer and uh, this thing that blocks your path, so you have to run really fast. And uh, if you don't, you get pushed down and you die. So let, let me show you how that looks. So yeah, it hits you and you fall down and die. Now this could be combined and be made into a really nice little functionality that gives gameplay to your game. You can combine this video with the, I think it's called the uh, checkpoint system video I made. The link is in the description or um, you, you should check that out and basically like, you know, mix these two up, make something fun. So it's pretty easy to make, um, I'll pull up the script right now, so new scripts and I think it's called uh, waypoints, yeah. Here we have, let me just show you the script. It's pretty simple, we have a uh, array of things over here, so an array of game objects and uh, the, they're I'll call the waypoints. Now this could also be an array of transforms but I just made it them game points int uh, this is uh, a number that we use to see on the which which way point in the array uh, we're currently going and headed to uh, the rotation speed um, I'll show you what this is uh, later um, but um, basically it just rotates your um, character to or the, th the object that you're moving you do not need this but I've inserted it in so who knows you might be using this for NPCs or something. This could be used for literally anything. Now we have a public float speed, which determines the speed that the, the game object is going to move to the next waypoint. And we have a waypoint radius. Now what this is is, whenever a game object, um, if the speed is kind of large, and if the game object, I guess, isn't that big or is too big or whatever, it might go to the waypoint. And because the waypoint is an empty game object. The, the game object might miss the waypoint and then it's just going to go back and forth um, to the waypoint because it keeps missing the center the center position of the uh, waypoint. So I made a waypoint radius, which I set to 1. So if it's in the radius, if it's in the 1 value radius of the waypoint or the empty game object, it's going to see, it's going to look at it as, all right, I've reached the waypoint, time to go to the next one. So in the void update, I, uh, if vector three distance, so we check the distance between uh, from the waypoints, so the current waypoint and the, uh, the it's transform dot position and the transform uh, position of the player. And uh, now, or not the player, the uh, the current object. And uh, if it's less than the waypoint radius, uh, this happens. So uh, if current plus plus, which is um, uh, current plus plus it adds on to the uh, current value so if the value was one and if it we check here if the uh, the freaking uh, distance is less than one or the waypoint radius if the distance between the waypoint and the object is less than the waypoint radius we add one to the current value because that means that we're going to go to the next waypoint so if current uh, is big is larger or equals to the waypoint dot length and what this means this is a this is for arrays so it checks it checks if the integer value of current is larger than the integer value or the index value that shows up over here is um, bigger or if it's equal that means that we've le reached the last checkpoint we set it back to zero so it goes from start so basically it's a looping curve uh, transform dot position vector three move towards transform position waypoint screen dot transform position times the delta time. This just basically moves the object to the waypoint current transform position, so it moves it to the current waypoint's position in the world, and it moves it by so move towards. It takes a vector three current, a vector three target, so the current um, position to the target position, and then it gets a float of the maximum distance delta. What that is is um. It's basically um, the speed of that the 
that the current uh, position is going to be the target position. So the speed that the current position needs to become the target position. And what we do is we say that it's time dot delta time times the speed, so we can change the speed around and uh, make it go faster, slower, whatever. Sorry if I've been a little rusty explaining this. Just woke up. Hopefully you understood it. It's not that complicated. You can go check. You can go read it by yourself. And I'm pretty sure if you know a bit of a C sharp knowledge, you're gonna figure it out. And uh, how we set it up is I've got one set up in the village as well, but wanted to show you guys um, it here in action. Uh, basically, you just create a empty cube, which is this. I call it death. And uh, just uh, box everything normal, nothing has to be ticked, it's all good. Add the waypoint script, and here you're going to have um, the waypoints, you're going to have, the size is going to be zero, just select the size that, um, it, the size is going to be how much waypoints you have, and when you um, determine how much waypoints you have, just set the size that fits, and um, take the waypoint, put the waypoints over here. And now for the waypoints, you just glow game object, create empty. You can call it whatever. All right, I'll make another waypoint, for example, over here. Oh, too far. I'll put it over here, I guess. So, align with view. So, this is going to be top. Put it in the setup. And now, let's go to the cube. I don't know why I called it death, I'm sorry. And uh, I'll just go size 3 because I have 3 waypoints. And for the last one, I'll put top. Speed is 10. I'll make it a bit lower, 7. And yeah, that's it. So how it works is it goes from up there to there. And yeah. So also, yeah, I, forgot, I almost forgot for the uh, random uh, for the random movement of the waypoints. Uh, it's also pretty simple. Um, that moved a lot over there. But it's pretty simple. So as you can see, it's going randomly now. It might go over there. It might go up. It might go like back down. So yeah. It's random. It's not uh, in any order. So if we ha if we had more of these, it would be even better. But we don't. So yeah, pretty simple to make that as well. Over here, uh, where the current plus plus is. So instead of adding one to the current and then just for the thing uh, for the object to go to the next waypoint, we say that current is random dot range. So from zero, so from the first one to waypoints dot length. So we can go anywhere. So yeah, uh, that was pretty simple. Um, hope you can use any of these. Uh, the script is on the uh, probably the random dot range one will be on the website. But if you do not want the random dot range one, just delete that part and add, add just current plus plus, and everything's fine. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. Hopefully it's helpful for you, and uh, hopefully you're going to like the video and um, subscribe for more uh, tutorials. And I'll see you next time. Bye.